Hi, I'm Nikki Whelan and you're watching Hollywire. What's up, Hollywire? We're hanging out with Nikki Whelan. Aw, thank you for saying my last name right. <laughs> oh, do people mess it up? They say Whelan. I'm like, there was no A, it's E. But anyway, thank you. It is an E. <laughs> I get it though, it's different. You know, Aussie is very different than You picked American. up that I was an Aussie straight away. I was yes. so impressed. I have a few Aussie <laughs> friends and like, and British friends, so you, you have to know the difference say it correctly, yes. Yeah. When I think of Australia, I think of very like, outdoorsy people. Were you outdoorsy? Did you surf? Yeah. yeah. I didn't surf, I, had to, I did a travel show years ago in my early 20s and they made me surf at Bells Beach. Oh, it's very scary. Um, <laughs> Surf is, is really aggressive, like it's frightening. I have done it a couple of times before, but I'm certainly not a surfer. But I did skateboard growing up and we were always outdoors. Like we lived literally right on the beach growing up as kids, barefoot, bikes, everything. Mm -hmm. So When's the last time you've been on a skateboard? I've got friends that skate here. So I was actually at a friend's um, uh, skate place recently on a skateboard. I love it. Like I still get on them. I can roll around still. I can't like do any tricks. But <laughs> Was yeah. it a skate park? Um, skate it's room. a huge <laughs> warehouse. It's Brandon Beeble. He is a mate of mine. I've known him forever and ever. He's a pro skater and he has like a huge shed in North Hollywood and everyone goes in and skates, so I went along. <laughs> yeah, cool. it's kind of cool. <laughs> it's cool. The skate culture is awesome, I love the it. Skate culture, yeah. yeah. I feel like you have to have a tattoo if you have a, in the skate culture. Do you have a tattoo? A couple. <laughs> you do? I do, yeah. You do? I know I don't look like a tattoo person. Deep down I wish I had heaps of them but I can't for work. I've got one on the back of my neck. When I was when I was 18, it's a whole thing. And then I've got two tiny little ones, which no one knows are here because they're done in grey stencil. I'd have sleeves if I could. Do you have any? Would you? Yeah. I Wait, I, like full blown, both, just one? If I wasn't an actress, I would have full sleeves. I love ink, I love it. So you have <laughs> this lovely Christmas movie, mm -hmm. um, a Christmas arrangement. Yes. Very cute. Yeah, it's so a really sweet Poppy. movie. Poppy, I love that name. I know, it's a whole thing, it's like, and it's a Christmas. Christmas movies are always really fun to make because mm. they feel, you know, it's all sweet and kind. And even shooting, it's an easy process because everyone's so, it, all the script is so beautiful and fun. And, you know, we shot this one particularly in Los Angeles. It was like three minutes from my house, so it was amazing. Um, just a lovely storyline. I play a florist, I yeah. love flowers all day. <laughs> and it's all very, the movies aren't always like that, so. That's why I like these ones. Was it just so whimsical? Just oh, it probably smelled amazing. All yes. Flowers. For a whole week, we shot in an actual um, florist um, in the valley, and we we're just surrounded. And it was really hot when we were shooting. Too. It was boiling hot, so between each takes, we'd jump in the um, the freezer <laughs> with, all with the, the flowers. flowers. <laughs> it was beautiful. Yeah, it was really nice. So they're all real flowers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, wow. Except for there's a couple scenes in the movie where we're at the competition. They go to this whole competition. Mm -hmm. to watch it. Mm -hmm. um, and they're all fake because they, they wouldn't have held. Sure. Properly, I think. In the LA heat. Yeah. Yeah. Shooting a winter movie in the middle of LA. <laughs> Pretending like it's Christmas. Layers. Oh, it's oh, hell. That's yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's good. We're going to play a quick game. Uh oh. Hollywood, we're playing Holly Words with Nikki. Go ahead and spin it. Dun, 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 dun. Was that aggressive? That enough? was a great spin. No, that was not aggressive. Okay. Favorite TV shows? Mm -hmm. Peaky Blinders, Bodyguard, amazing. Oh my goodness. Um, uh, little Big Light, Big, Big. Big Little Secret? Big, big Little Lies. Big Little Lies. Oh my Is God, that? the, the <laughs> most amazing. That show, um, and Sex in the City. I like that. This is like speed round. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Go again. Okay, we'll spin again. Okay, cool. Embarrassing fan moment. Really? Here, I to have a, had an embarrassing fan moment. Or like cool fan art. Some weird things. Um, <laughs> I don't want to like talk about it. No, pass. <laughs> I've had weird stuff. Spin again. I'm just spinning this. I'm going to end up doing every question. Morning routine. I like to wake up and it's relatively early with my little dog Yoda, and um, I have to actually get him way. out of bed. He won't. He doesn't get out of bed in the morning. Um, I wander into the kitchen. Um, and I make an espresso, delicious, nice and strong, extra chocolate, extra hot, wander back to bed, have a few sips, check the gram, I mean, just a little bit, just like a little, and then put that to the side. And then I meditate for a solid hour, Whoa. if I have time, if I'm not filming. And then I come out of the meditation, reheat the coffee, because it's usually gone a little dull. Mm -hmm. And then I, I, I put music on in my lounge room and then I start the day. Yeah. And then when you're done with all of that, yeah. 
Yoda finally wakes up. <laughs> Yoda won't get out of bed until I have to pull him and he snores and snorts and rolls around and he loves meditation time because he knows that's an extra hour of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes. cute. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks um, for having me. Guys, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.